being born to these women are not human. They're strange. And they have black eyes. And they can lift their head up within a day of being born. How many babies do you know of that are able to lift their head up the day they're born or the day after? They are crawling within a couple of weeks. They're growing teeth. They're born with a tooth. Oh, you don't believe me? All right. Check out this video. This will blow your mind.
Well, pretty scary, isn't it, huh? <clears throat> oh, boy. So what is in these? What are we dealing with here? A creature? A living organism? Are we being bred with something else? Pretty scary. All right, Shalom. This is her one by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kal Halayim, Le Yahawa, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakah Kodash, in my mouth. The belonging to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. And Shalom to you, Akim, and Aguatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Hey, man, um, you see what the hell they're doing, you know, creating Frankenstein babies. All right, GMO babies. Um, and that's all prophetic. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into the scriptures. I want to start off with Ephesians 6 and 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, man. And what's the fiery darts of the wicked? All right, Jeremiah 9 and 3. And they bend their tongues like their bow for lies, man. All right, two thirds of our people claiming to be leaders. In these churches, in these in these uh, uh, Cong uh, government uh, seats, entertainment industries, right, industrial industry, office industries, wherever they at, forcing it on their employees, everything. They're all spewing out the lies, man. Okay, and they bend their tongues like their bow for lies, man. So that's that's part of the uh, fiery darts, all right. But they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil, and they know not me, say if Yahweh. See, and even uh, especially our people, two thirds of our people don't know the Lord, don't know that He's the power. All right, it says this, um, Jeremiah. 9 and, um, and 24 But let he That glory of Glory of Glory in this Alright I'm gonna start in 23 Thus saith Yahweh Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom man Alright cause their wisdom is what Darkness and they're glorying in it They're glorying in their own uh, uh, Vain opinion Being led by their own understanding Glorying in their uh, Um the uh, college degrees, the uh, doctorate degrees, glorying in science, glorying in everything else, in their idols, in their idolatry, instead of glorying in the creator of everything, the, the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, the God of the universe, Yahweh. It says what? Thus saith Yahweh, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. See that? Look at the, look at the military. They can't put this judgment off of them. Look how it's coming at it. This is a spiritual battle. All right. So they are forced to adhere to the mandates and all these other uh, uh, police officers uh, are forced. Man, I spoke one yesterday and the, uh, I asked him, man, I said, hey, man, they, they forcing y'all to get that. And he was like, um, of course, he didn't want to talk to me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, here and there, you got to kind of poke at these uh these centurions and shit but this guy didn't want to talk to me um he looked like canelo alvarez but he was Esau. he could have been edomite you never know so um so i asked him i said hey man y'all they forcing y'all right he said yeah i already got it da -da 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 -da. and i i didn't want to but i did and i showed him what was in it and he's he's like oh man <laughs> so hey you know um so they can't glory in that might all right, the UFC fighters. Look at uh, Oscar De La Hoya. All right, Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, he had, he had got it, and he um he ended up sick. All right, dead deadly sick. Now it says this: um, Let not the rich man glory in his riches. All right, people like Rick Ross and all them Jay Z. Floyd Mayweather, whoever you could think of, all the people like Brandon T. Jackson trying to uh, boasting that he's famous. 
but you know, trying to uh, ride that fence, man. Uh, uh, praising God and mammon. Right? But it says this, but let him that glory, if glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. So that's what we should be glorying in. Because look at the times we're in, man. These are dark and evil times, man. The times are evil. Look at this baby's eyes, man. Look at these babies that's being born with sharp, jagged teeth, they say, like Venom, the movie. You know, what the hell are they making? All right. But let him that glory of glory in this, that he understandeth and know of me. So we should be thankful that we're blessed to understand and that we know the Lord. That I am Yahweh, which exerciseth loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith Yahweh. So the Lord delights in these things. Check this out. All right, now Ephesians 5 and uh, 16, redeeming the time, but it says, 15, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, man. Look at this shit. You know, look what they're putting in these people, man. Falling for the lies, falling for the derision. And the Lord has them in that spirit. You got, they got to pray to the Father. That's why the Lord said, be thankful that we know him and we understand. We got to be thankful for that. All right, because if we didn't, We'd be caught up in that sh this shit. All right. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. See, knowing what times we're in. And Jake don't know what time's there. They don't know we're in the time of salvation. They don't know we're in the time of the Lord's judgment. That shit. All right. Job 18 and um, 14. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the king of terrors. This is a terrifying uh, shit that's about to be on this earth, that's on the earth right now. Transhumanization. All right, let's get back to Ephesians 6 and um, 11. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right. So what's that? The wiles of the devil represents his trickery. So we have to put on all the armor of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right, which is uh, basically this truth, man. All right, and faith. Because these are the evil times we're in. All right, Second Ezra is 5 and 8. Because our people fell to that, that, that bitter water. And that's what America is known as, bitter. All right. Um that false doctrine, you know, right, philosophies, and it's leading them right into what? Destruction. Scriptures say, wide is the gate that leads to destruction. And they talking about a depopulation plan, but a lot of people, a lot of um, um, specialists are coming out and saying that the upper least, they, they really got a plan to repopulate just with transhumanism. So depopulating the humans and creating a whole different type of species. See what I'm saying? Second Ezra 5 and 8. There shall be confusion also in many places. And this is confusion. Okay. Especially America, Babylon. And the fire shall be off sent out again. All right. And that's the judgments of the Lord that's always sent out upon the people of this earth. So the Lord is judging every day. He's angry with the wicked every day. And the wild beasts shall change their places. And that's going to happen real soon. They're already doing that. All right, finding animals and stuff in the communities, changing their places, seeing tigers and shit popping up in the neighborhoods. All right. Um, and the wild beasts shall change their places and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. You know, and that's twofold. They're talking about these damn gangbangers. Like, uh, what's his name? Kodak Black, tattoos all over his face and shit. Devil worshiping and witchcraft, drinking blood, but on another level, these women are bringing forth uh, um, a monster, literal monsters, man, little demon babies, transhuman. All right, so this shit is crazy right here, man. This is some movie stuff right here. Um, but he said they're bringing forth monsters, man. That's what they are, little monsters. All right, I'm going to finish with this because you have, uh, he was talking about it. He said, what, the babies were speaking, saying mama, 
at a few weeks old and born with teeth and lifting their head up as soon as they're born, the day they're born. You know, babies are not supposed to have that strength in their neck to do that. All right? And I was always wondering about that. Like, what's going to happen to make this baby start talking and doing all this in the end and last days? And now I see. All right? They get, they, they mutated the babies. Second Ezra 6 and... um. Let's start from uh, right here. It says, Second Ezra 6 and 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of times? Or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it followeth? And he answered and said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. And that's what time we're in. We, we're seeing the parting asunder of the times. So that lets you know that this prophecy I'm about to read about is going to happen in the time of Esau's downfall, when the baby's going to be born and speaking. So I'm going to get to that point. It's way down in the scripture. Um, I might have to get straight to it. Yep. All right, I'm going to start from 6 and uh, 19, but that whole chapter is a lot of meat in that chapter about these times, man. Second Ezra 6 and 19. Um, no, 18. And it, and it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. And this is talking about Yahweh Shai. All right. And uh, you had the angel Uriel visiting Ezra, but also Yahweh Shai visited Ezra too in this, in this chapter, if you read it. All right. It was another voice that came and spoke to him. And I will begin to make inquisition of them what they be that hurt, that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. All right. The, the affliction of Zion of, of the elect is going to be shortened. And we're seeing it. it when we're seeing babies born with black eyes, man. You know, and we know what that is. We are. We even know what the um uh the little squid looking um object is, man. It's known as Hydra. You got to look it up. H-Y-D-R-A. All right, so now I'm going to keep going so I don't get no damn flag on the page. All right, um, no strikes, I mean. Verse 20, it says, so the Lord is letting you know right here in this, in this verse that this is going to be an end time prophecy. These are the last days, the evil times, man. But in the midst of that, the Lord is going to end the affliction of his elect. How are you going to give them spiritual power? He's going to give them protection from his angels. He said, then shall it be known who are my chosen. He's going to lift up a standard. He's going to say, touch not my anointed. He's going to end the affliction in the midst of it. I had deja vu. That's crazy, but check it out. And um, it says here, and when the world that shall begin to vanish away, Esau's kingdom, as it spoke of earlier in this chapter, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows shall be finished. See, it's the, the scriptures say he has appointed their bounds that they, they cannot pass. So who cares about their new world order or what they're planning, man? All right? Those I meant to get caught up in it, they get, they're getting caught up in it now. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens. The books shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall see all together. And the children... All right, so everything going to be revealed. When the prophecy is all fulfilled, ain't going to be nothing. To, um, it's not going to be a secret anymore. You know, there's nothing to prophesy about. All the prophecies are are done when they push that um, the MOB, MOTB. All right, and the children of a year old shall speak with their voices, man. And they got babies talking right now. Under a year old, the women with child shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old. All right, the three three months old, they're gonna start having babies, man, and they're gonna be fully developed. It's about to get worse, man. This shit gonna freak everybody out, and they shall live and be raised up. <laughs> So, <laughs> so they're going to live and get raised up, man. All right, they're going to be raising up little demons. And so that's why the Lord got to burn this place, man. 
All right. Second Ezra 15 and one. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. So we in that time where the Lord is um, going to say, hey, man, go ahead and shut it down. Go ahead and deliver the children of Israel. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, right? Uh, which they profanely commit. And he says, no, there's no more profane person than Esau. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, see, the Lord is not going to suffer it any longer. Or well, two-thirds of our people that's getting caught up in it. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. How many people have died just these past few years from uh, these mandates? You get what I'm saying? And the souls of the just complain continually, and we complain it continually. And therefore, say if Yahweh, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. So the Lord is ready to deliver us out of this place. And two thirds are led as uh, sheep to the slaughter. So now the Lord is going to deliver the elect from among them. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm, man. That's Psalm 91. All right. Spiritual power and covering and protection from the angels, from Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. See, all this land got to get destroyed. Why? I remember with this man because all these people tampering with the Lord's creation, the body, the temple, you know, even the soul, and you have all these people um, trusting in wickedness. You know, and Esau establishing their iniquity, and people following behind it. Well, check this out, Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh. The day is coming, man, quickly. You know, and that's just it, man. That shall burn as an oven. So the Lord is going to cook this place. The best cleaning agent is fire. All right, he's going to burn this, this, uh, uh, these people, disintegrate them. It says, and... The day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. See that those that go and follow after their uh, leader Biden, and they get transhumanized or turned to a damn Frankenstein, and their children. The Lord said, "What all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up." Say, if Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So they're children too, man. The Lord ain't playing. <laughs>